Ever since my girlhood, a period of about 30 years, I have belonged to organizations to secure for women that political power which I have felt was essential to bringing about those reforms which women need. We have tried to be womanly, we have tried to use feminine influence, and we have seen that it is of no use. We have presented larger petitions than were ever presented for any other reform. We have succeeded in holding greater public meetings than men have ever had for any reform. We have faced hostile mobs at street corners because we were told that we could not have that representation for our taxes, which men have won, unless we converted the whole of the country to our side. Because we have done this, we have been misrepresented. We have been ridiculed. We have had contempt poured upon us. The ignorant mob at the street corner has been incited to offer us violence, which we have faced unarmed and unprotected by the safeguards which cabinet ministers have. We know that we need the protection of the vote even more than men have needed it. If you decide against us today, to prison, we must go. Because we feel that we should be going back to the hopeless condition this movement was in three years ago if we consented to be bound over to keep the peace, which we have never broken. And so, sir, if you decide to bind us over, whether it is for three or six months, we shall submit to the treatment, the degrading treatment that we have submitted to before. Although the government admitted we are political offenders and therefore ought to be treated as political offenders are invariably treated, we shall be treated as pickpockets and drunkards. We are driven to do this. We are determined to go on with agitation because we feel in honor bound. Just as it was the duty of your forefathers, it is our duty to make this world a better place for women than it is today. This is the only way we can get that power, which every citizen should have, of deciding how the taxes she contributes to should be spent, and how the laws she has to obey should be made. And until we get that power, we shall be here. We are here today, and we shall come here over and over again. We are here not because we are lawbreakers. We are here in our efforts to become lawmakers.